Higginbotham on the extreme first base side of the rubber. He deals, swing and a miss. Johnson waved at a breaking pitch up and away. And the Higginbotham way ahead. He kicks in the 0-2, swing and a miss. He pulled the string on him with a breaking ball. That's good morning, good afternoon, good night for a big second out. Beer. Withers straightens, he delivers, and Beer hits it high in the air. Back in the deep left, chasing the ball's bending and crashing into the wall, looking up, gone. A home run for Seth Beer, and that ball had some kind of bend on it, it did. as Parrott just fell over himself trying to get back there. It's good for him that the ball went out, otherwise he would have had some splaining to do. But Seth Beer leaves the yard for the second time, going opposite field. Count now Tigers and with runners at second and third, and Pender grounds it to short, and Carroll, it ate him up, and he'll have no play, and the Tigers tack on another. Here's a 1-0, hit on the ground, shortstop, and Carroll can't find it. He knocked it down, throw to first, not in time. He backhanded it, checked his glove, it wasn't there, it was at his feet. And it took him a minute to find it. We have Ten. to make it. We talked about Clemson at eight. Yeah, you remember what happened in 2010. That's exactly right. There's a line shot to left center field. That's going to get down in the gap. One run is in. Roman's got a double. Stopping at third is White. So Pender scores, and that's five to one. Another five-run inning like we talked about here in the second. Carroll on at first, and he's going. A slide step, throw to the plate. Runner going, throw down. He got it. I mean, he got him by a step and a half. That was brilliant work by Higginbotham and by Oki. Here's the 2-0. Ball well hit, left center field. It's heading to the gap. One hop, two hop, it's off the wall. Renwick will score easily from second. And out at second base now for the stand-up RBI one double. to Roman. Here's a curveball hit to left center field. This will fall in. Eli White will score from third. And Roman's two for three and another RBI. And now you don't feel bad about the ball because no, he would have scored anyway. A, yeah, he would have scored. 1-0 the count. There's a ball hit through the hole on the right side. Looks like coming around second. Here comes Oki to the plate. And another RBI for the freshman. And another base hit now. Curve ball, swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that takes care of James Madison here in the fifth. No runs. There were no hits, no errors, one runner. Just like it did when the game started. Here's the one, two, swing and a miss. Kind of a weak swing there. He's really fooled Second. on a curveball. Five and three in the fourth. There's a ball well hit left center field. Will it fall in? It does. It's going to roll all the way to the fence. Center fielder dove for it. It went under his glove. Here comes Seth Beer and sliding into third with a triple, an RBI triple is Andrew Cox. Campbell just a pitch away from getting out of it. The payoff pitch here comes. Swing and a miss. He reached back and dealt 95 to him. And the right fielder for the Dukes could not catch up. So three. Here's the 0-2. Strike three called. What a beautiful breaking ball from Gillum there. Just frozen and one away. Awaits another 2-2 offering. Here's a pitch. Swing and a miss on a fast ball up and out of the zone. And the side is retired. A good inning for Gilliam. 93, 92. Tough pitch to hit. And one, two, a swing and a miss. It hit the glove and bounced out. But Oki applies the tag. And that'll be the second out of the inning. A strikeout of Hansen. Bostic winds and deals. And McPherson hits it sharply to second. Should end it. Wilson feels, throws to first. And that'll do it. The Tigers with back to back to back impressive wins. They've now won five in a row, and they get a big sweep here at Doug Kingsmore Stadium on a beautiful weekend in Clemson.